Um, Hi, Jay. How you doing? I'm um, great, thanks, mate. How are you? I'm good. Um, I've kind of called you um, to an impromptu meeting here, haven't I? Um, I was about to do this video by myself. <laughs> it was going to be rather Tottenham-based. Jay was free. We do a podcast together. It made sense that you joined. Uh, <laughs> it's not a conventional <laughs> um, podcast today, Jay. No, it's, I'm no. slightly apprehensive about this. No, so no. So normally we talk about the games, what we think is going to happen, what has happened. Um, we haven't really spoken at length for a while, just because um, it's Christmas. We're busy people. Uh, we're not. We're just. It's very tiring. We're just drunk all the time. Um, we're lazy people. Yeah, that one. <laughs> um, the, this video is basically a little chill out to everyone, to every single person in the league. Whether you think you're flying high, whether you think you're doomed, unless you're Sheffield. Um, it's a <laughs> it's a message of hope. It's a message of chaos. It's a message of it's a, it's a message of madness. And like I said, I've mainly framed this around Tottenham. Chelsea play West Ham tonight. That result could be anything, couldn't it, Jay? Yeah, uh, I know the the theme of this this video is supposed to be chill, but I'm shitting myself for that one. Well, but <laughs> don't Jay, because it doesn't matter. It's fine. Uh, but like that, this video is released. Chelsea and Leicester have played now. So whatever happened there, happened. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the point is, Jay, Chelsea West Ham. The, the crux of this game is, I've, I've done a little bit of math, I've done a little bit of working out, um, but there's there's just chaos. It's just chaos this season, right? Tottenham are out of the title race now. Yeah, everyone's saying that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're out of the title race. Okay, fair enough. I, d I don't really think so. But just four weeks ago, me and Jay were discussing which one of us was guaranteed to win the title with no regard for any other Premier League team. Like <laughs> we didn't even um, we, we didn't, didn't even, even Liverpool. mention Liverpool. We were just like fuck them, T Tottenham or Chelsea. That was three weeks ago. But the point is, in three weeks from now, we have played 135 Premier League games this season out of a, out of 380. Jay, there is 245 Premier League games left. And there is so much to happen. At this stage, last season, Liverpool were 20 points ahead of Tottenham. 20 points. And we all saw, I know um, COVID happened and they'd won the league, but you saw the drop-off at the end of the league, the end of the season. You saw what Liverpool did. They should have won the, yeah, the yeah, league they... by 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 points. They didn't. Yeah, they, they probably could have, yeah, they could have broke 100, couldn't they? Easily, Realistically, easily. If they, but they dropped off, Jay. If they... At the moment, Tottenham are sat in fifth. We're six points off Liverpool. Six points, Jay. This is a Liverpool team that look bloody brilliant. But you know what? They also look like they could lose 7-2 to Aston Villa. That's with Van Dijk in the yeah. team. Exactly. This isn't just about Tottenham. This is about Chelsea as well. Chelsea obviously haven't clicked. If Chelsea click, they are capable of winning 10 games on the bounce. Tottenham are capable of winning 10 games on the bounce. A Manchester United side with Oli Gunnar Solskjaer is currently the the most likely title race rival to Liverpool, Jay. This is the season we're in. It, it's fine. This this is, yeah, this is, it's mental, right? Because uh, we, before the Everton game, a couple a week ago, whatever, uh, we win, we go top. We lose that, we go fifth. We lose another game, we go eighth. It's that close. Like, <laughs> the margins are just so fine. Mm, exactly. And, you know, it, it's a very Tottenham thing. We go to City, we beat them. Sorry, City come to us, we beat them. We go to Chelsea, we get a draw, fair enough. We then slap a Arsenal. We then draw to Palace, lose to Leicester, lose to Liverpool. It sucks, but that's what football is. <laughs> it's really hard. Jamie Vardy is quite good at football. Mohamed Salah is quite good at football. Guaita, that day, is quite good at football. Liverpool now look like they're doing what they can do. Yeah. We also know <laughs> Not that so much in the game after that. Yes, no, but, you know. <laughs> but then again, I don't know what happened there. I, I just, I can't put my... Ugh. No one knows. I've picked two teams out here, and just, just to talk about them. Just it, it, It's Everton and United. Mm -hmm. It feels like an absolute world away, but do you remember the chat we had about Everton at the start? Well, we were all quite hyped with them, weren't we? We were hyped with their performance, their team was clicking, and Chalati was at the wheel... And it was, it was going great, weren't it? They fought in some absolute talent, Jay. And with that talent, they've mm -hmm. managed to beat Chelsea, they've managed to beat Tottenham, they've managed to beat Leicester without conceding a goal in any of those games. That same Everton have lost to Southampton. Yes, they're doing well. United the, and Leeds. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> it's a Leeds that just <laughs> lost to the United that they also lost to 6-2. But then if we talk about United, they've lost against Tottenham bloody Arsenal <laughs> and Crystal Palace, yet they've smashed up Leeds, smashed up Everton and beaten Southampton. It, this, there is no rhyme or reason this season. There is nothing. It, this is, is absolute chaos. And yeah, you're right. And I think we are trying to make a bit of um, sense out of it. There and maybe we should made. stop doing that. There is none to be made. <laughs> this isn't, you know, about... You know this league makes no sense when I've woken up today in a parallel universe where talk sport and many pundits were absolutely praising Leeds for their 6-2 defeat at Old Trafford. Oh my God, yeah. You're right about that. You're absolutely... I was listening to a podcast this morning and even the podcast made light of it. They spent about 10 minutes talking about how good Leeds were and they went, should we talk about the team that won 6-2? It's ridiculous. <laughs> like maybe... I, like, that should happen. If I have to tell one more person, compare. Well, you know, I, I know Leeds fans are, are fortunate, more fortunate, fortunate than Tottenham fans, to be watching. You know, they're happier to watching Leeds than Tottenham fans will be watching Tottenham. I'm not. I know we haven't had a good three weeks, Jay, but I'd rather go to Old, Fa- Old Trafford and win six one than lose six two. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why this perceived idea that Mourinho just literally turns up, shits on the pitch and leaves. He scored five past <laughs> Southampton. He scored six past United, two past City, two past Arsenal. All wins. All incredible teams. Yes, we've had a bad run of form. But also, Tottenham are a fucking good team. I'm not even being biased. Chelsea are a fucking good team. <laughs> You sound, you know, you know what I can picture right now. You know that photo of always sunny in Philadelphia, yeah. where Charlie's got all the things working out and he just can't figure out what's going on. That's you right now. What is happening this season? Man? Look, <laughs> essentially, this this league boils down to one thing. Now, I don't believe you know United are in a good place right now. We, we've seen this countless times. United get themselves into a good place. Ollie's at the wheel. Hey ho, the wheel will crash into a brick wall in the up and coming weeks. We know this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for me, this yep. league is a battle for second place, and that is the only way you're going to win the league. Sounds counterintuitive, Jay. We can't rely on finishing above Liverpool. We have to finish second and hope that Liverpool flap it. Yeah, that's what this league is. It's a second place <laughs> and hoping that somehow Liverpool. You know, the astronomical spaceship firing straight towards fucking Mars runs out of fuel. It's the tortoise and the hare, Jay. Like... This season is the tortoise and the hare, and the, we have to be the fastest tortoise and hope the hare falls asleep. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but, you know, they they have fallen asleep a couple times on the way, the 7-2 and, and the other results that didn't go that way. So, you know, it's not completely out of possibility. We've got a quarter final. Um, in the Carabao Cup against Stoke, that is as our next game. I'm nice. all right. Uh, there's a lot of Tottenham fans that are upset. Gareth Bale's obviously done fuck all, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's all. I think. I think you know. We're, we're, we're trying to say as well. It's like uh, this season is so chaotic. It's so up and down. Like you know, a couple of weeks ago, Chelsea and Spurs. Who's going to win the title this week? Uh, it's who's in the worst crisis. And it's just, it's one of those people need to calm the fuck down a little bit from all sets of fan groups. It's not just one fan group at the moment. It's loads of fan groups are just going off on one. They'll lose one game. It's the worst thing that ever. They'll win one game. It's, it's, they're winning the league. And and that's due to the nature of the league this season. Usually this this wouldn't happen to this drastic extent. Um, but I think we all should stop being so reactionary. Yeah, that was my... I was watching a big video on the battle between... The, the hypocritical battle between AFTV and TalkSport today. It was a half an hour long video. TalkSport saying that Arsenal Fan TV thrived off negativity. The same TalkSport that tell people to call in if they think a manager should be sacked. You know, th- this is what football is. <laughs> and it just made me... You know, I've been sat in my house. I've not done anything today, really. I should probably go on a walk after this, to be honest. My head's um, all over the place. But I just wanted to come on and just not be reactionary and just... Enjoy the chaos of this league because Tottenham are going to win a lot of games this season. They're gonna, they're, we're coming back. We're going to be fine. 
we're still, yeah. in my opinion, one of the favourites of the top four because we've seen Everton have peaked and troughed, United have troughed and peaked, Tottenham have troughed, peaked, then troughed, Chelsea have peaked, then troughed, <laughs> Liverpool troughed and peaked. Southampton are kind of peaking, but that's only because they shouldn't be there. At the moment, they, they've kind of had a little trough. It, <laughs> it's okay. Mm-hmm. Arsenal I mean, have I'm troughed. Oh, yeah, Arsenal, <laughs> down. Um, <laughs> they, they keep troughing. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, yeah, this this season has already been, like, 20 times better than last season when Liverpool just ran away with it. Yeah, just enjoy the fact that there's not a team currently 20 points ahead. I know they weren't at this stage. They were only, like, nine ahead of Leicester. But... I, I wasn't actually going to say anything. Oh, OK, then. Well, let's think of something else to say. <laughs> um, right. To be honest, uh, we're done there. Uh, we didn't want to make the video too long. This video has been a a exercise of getting the chaos out of my mind that, that this league is in. Um, yeah, Josh needed and, this for him. Yeah, this is a basically... <laughs> you've joined me on a therapy session today. Um, <laughs> because, you know, it's, it's difficult. But at the end of the day, Jay, it, we are 14 games in, and I'm not just saying Tottenham Chelsea... To, well, not, sorry, that, that sounds like I'm being mean. I'm not being mean. I genuinely forgot... Tottenham are in all four cups. Chelsea are in three cups. You've only been knocked out of the one that you don't really give a shit about. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's it, all good. Everything's fine. It's all good. Everything is fine. That's that's the, the main theme. Everything is fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Um, yeah. No. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you did manage to follow along for this one, sorry about it. We just also hadn't seen you guys in a while, so you know, drop in. Tell us how you're feeling about the season. Subscribe, like, all the things. Just, you know, just chat to us. Please. It's Christmas. Uh, we can't see any of our family. Boris will stop us. So, <laughs> so talk to us. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Merry Merry Christmas. Yeah, and we probably, you know, Jay will see you in a live stream tonight. I might, you know, but for those who just watch the content, probably won't see you yet after Christmas. So, see you later. Tell your dad.